Hi, I'm Dave from Buzzy. Today I'll run you through an example app that we've created straight from Figma using the Buzzy plugin. So this is a real app that we've generated from the Figma design file with no coding. Uh, so in this example, it's a health app. Uh, so it's got workouts, um, meditations, uh, meal plans and so on. So go look at meditations. This content is data driven by the way, so this is being served up dynamically. Uh, there's working forms, we can add a review. There's the review we've just posted. Um, you can edit the content, so I could edit this and call it There it is, it's been edited. Um, we go back to, for instance, a workout, you can submit logs. So there's our workout. So I did that this morning. I can use submit a log to track my progress. Uh, so I did it at 6 a.m. Um, took me 20 minutes and I got cramps. There we go, because I'm not very fit. So that's posted a log, so to our logbook. Um, we can also, if we want, generate content. So you can submit your own workouts. Um, here we go, we can create a new one called New Workout. So this is user generated content. Uh, it's 20 minutes, it burns 5,000, 50,000 calories because it's great. Um, here's my description. Um, it's good for everyone and so on and we can post it so that's posted a new workout to the community so if we go to our workouts oh here it is it's showing up on the home page uh, I didn't add an image so it's a blank image but there's our new workout that we just created so this is a dynamic live app and it was created straight from Figma at the click of a button basically so let's go have a look um, we provided this as a community file, so you can get to this yourself and try it out. Uh, just go to the community, search for Buzzy. There's a whole bunch of these demo files we've got. Uh, we'll go look at the health app. Um, so we duplicate this. This is now giving us our own copy to work with and that we can edit. There it is, that's copied to our drafts from Figma's community. Um, so it's cover image, and this is the app itself. So there's all the app screens. Um, if we zoom in, these are just basic Figma design elements, layers, components, and so on. And they have been marked up with the Buzzy plugin. So we can actually turn this into a live app without actually having to do anything because it's already marked up. But it's a great way to explore how the Buzzy plugin works and try it out for yourself, basically. So the first time you open the plugin, you'll have to connect to Buzzy. So what this does is it opens a Figma screen. Um, it's opened off screen here. There we go, this is it. And this is a screen from Figma asking whether you want to give Buzzy access to your file. Um, so we'll click allow and this will connect Figma to Buzzy and vice versa. So once that's done, slow connection today, there we go. Um, there we go, we are now connected to Buzzy. So we can jump back to Figma. That's this screen's done, we don't need that. Okay, so there's our connected version of the plugin. You'll notice it shows what's been selected. So I've got splash screen selected and you'll notice it's already been defined and marked up. Um, if we deselect it, you'll see down here, there's all the items in our Figma file on this particular page, this app page, that have been marked up. There's components, there's fields, there's actions. This has all been marked up simply by selecting things and defining their roles and behaviors with the plugin. That's already been done in this file, so have an explore, see how it's been done, but it's ready to go, so we can just jump to the Publish tab. Uh, you'll notice it tells us what page we're on. Um, we can give our app a name, so it defaults to the page name from over here. We'll just rename this to My Healthy People app. 
all we have to do now is convert. Now the first time you do this on this file, it'll ask you for the Figma file key and that's just the share action over here. So while it's thinking about things, there it is. We go, we copy this link, paste it in here and click continue. So this is now the publish tab. It's working on generating the app for us. So we'll just wait for this to complete. And there it is. So it tells us that app's been created, um, gives us a preview URL and a link to the back end and a QR code so we can scan that with our phone. But we'll just click the preview URL. It's also open off screen, here it is. There it is. We'll click in. And there's the app when we've just generated that directly from our Figma file. And again, this is the same app I showed you before. It's it's a working app. We can submit reviews, we can go look at content. And all we had to do was publish it straight from our file. Now you can do this with any of your own files, just mark them up using the Buzzy plugin and click publish basically. Um, what's gone on at the back end here is well when we hit publish it's pulled in our Figma elements that we've marked up in the design tab, it's pulled in some data so this file's already been set up with um, some REST API data that pulls in the meditation menus and workout content and generates the app for us. When the app gets generated, so there's our, there's our app, and this here is the back end that's generated. So there's all our data, there's our workouts, there's our meditations, and so on. Um, that's all been generated on the fly when we hit publish. And here's our app. So thanks for watching, and go and try it yourself. Thanks.